So, this is Adam from Adam Knows. <laughs> Today we're going to look at Day to Day 1987. And this is going to be an interesting one. Miss Dana Day 1987 is one of those females that come, your modern day black feminist, who is, sleeps with white supremacy. That's the only way of putting it. This is the type of woman who finally made something. She probably makes $60,000, $70,000 a year. She bought a BMW X3, so now she thinks she is superior over black men. And it's funny to me to listen to it because many times I've had to smack her down with a couple of dollars to remind her where she really is at life and life and how what she makes is insignificant. But this is a woman who loves to use the word pookie to black men to tie it downplay, downgrade, insult black men. Oh, this is what she does all day. Basically, pookie this, pookie that with a southern accent. Knowing her father wasn't that great of a person to begin with. So I guess she's taking out on the rest of the men. My daddy was this, my daddy was that, but hell, her father was a bum, straight up. Now, let's get into her videos and stuff, just to give you an idea of what type of person this is. That's what I'm saying, because there's several classes that these men could be taking to become better men, but they ain't taking them. The first thing they could do is go to therapy. They ain't doing that. They could go to classes to learn how to be more romantic, classes for anger management, because a lot of them definitely need that. They need classes on how to be financially literate. <laughs> now, this lady sitting here talking about people have to learn how to be more romantic, how to be more financially literate. She's out of her house that she had, that she had her pride and joy. I mean, that was one of her prized possessions. She's in an apartment now. So financial literacy, financial literacy, she really let that come out of her mouth. She really thinks her low income is where you're supposed to be at. I mean, don't get me wrong. Income is income if it's honest. I don't want to throw people off and say I'm trying to say that, but... The way she runs her mouth and the way she tries to put her airs about on people, you would think she was a millionaire or something, but she's not. Let's get back to it. A lot of me. This man is gonna come up to me missing his front teeth, bro. I look, I look like I fuck with that shit. I look like I fuck with that. So her video made me think about something. Pookies will haul at anything. It don't matter whether or not they got nowhere to stay, no car, no job, no money, multiple kids. It doesn't matter. They, at this point, you really cannot make this stuff up. Y'all will buy a class for anything other than what you really need to be working on. Because ain't nobody combining their income with y'all to help you survive. Like, <laughs> we're not doing it right. We didn't go to school. We didn't get degrees. We didn't get good paying jobs and everything else so that we could get with some mediocre man who played over his life and think that he gonna combine his income with ours to make... But remember, this lady just had to leave from her house. She had to sell her house as she claims. I'm thinking more like foreclosure with everything that's going on and how these women have been coming up homeless now on TikTok. I'm thinking she came across some financial difficulties like loss of job or loss of some type of income. And she has to downplay because no one with her stubbornness, arrogance is going to sit there and just lose a cell of house and jump into an apartment. This is the type of person, if she really had it, she wouldn't be moving from a house to an apartment. She would be moving from one house into a better house. But hey, that's my opinion, even though my opinion ends up usually being right 90% of the time. More out of it. We're not doing that, right? You think that you can bring your $40,000 income and your entry-level job that you've been on for years and you ain't never worked up to try to move up and do no better? Never. Like I said, this is a woman that wants us to believe she chose to sell her house to go live in a small-ass apartment. Anytime I usually post her stuff, most men have already told me they've blocked her a long time ago because of the nonsense she spills. She usually ends up blocking me first because I'm one of the few people that can come on there and put her in her place in regards to how she feels, what level she's on, because her level compared to my level is insignificant to the point that it's embarrassing. She literally shuts down anytime I come around and stitch her posts. 
about her behavior and the things she say because she know that doesn't work on me. Actually, it's even funnier because after I do such a thing, she'll turn around, change her whole game plan, and it's now, oh, men with money are the worst ones around because they try to manipulate you with it. They want to sit here and abuse you because they got money and just because they money think they this or that or they just get whatever. Oh, the only time, only reason why women want you is because you got money, pookie. <laughs> but yeah, if you run across her on TikTok, my best advice, block her. She's a moron with a mission. I don't know if it's daddy issues or her mama didn't treat her right or something. I, I don't know. I, I can't call it. But she's a disaster. She's literally a walking disaster. No man is going to want her. She doesn't want no man. I'm thinking she's probably about to, we'll probably see in the next few weeks. She's got a girlfriend or something. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, kick her to the curb whenever you see her. She's not worth the headache.